Hi, so today we are going to learn about the number of permutations possible when the things are arranged in a circle. So if we arrange the things in circle, there can be two possibilities. First is all the arrangements are considered different. If all the arrangements are considered different, things becomes very simple. And the second condition can be the arrangements achieved by rotation are considered same. So if there are n number of things, and we have n number of places to arrange these things then there will be total n factorial ways in which n number of things can occupy these n number of places which is nothing but equal to n p n arrangement of n number of things where these n number of things are selected from these n number of things so this eventually comes out as factorial n this is when all the arrangements are considered different right and the second situation is the arrangement achieved by rotation are considered same so that we are going to learn by taking one example so let me erase all this so suppose we have eight number of balls and they are supposed to be arranged in a circle like this so to have the clarity let me color all these balls in different colors so let this be dark blue this be red orange lavender purple yellow green and gray so let these be the eight balls and if i want to arrange them on this circle there should be total n factorial ways possible but here we have one condition condition is that the arrangements achieved by rotation are considered same so suppose if these balls are arranged like this then all the arrangements like this will all be considered same why because if we see properly if we start from the red dot or the red ball here we have yellow ball lavender ball and green ball after that here also if we go clockwise after red ball we have yellow lavender green purple blue orange and gray balls and here also if we see after red ball we have yellow lavender green purple blue orange and gray ball and same is the case over here if you see properly all these three arrangements can actually be achieved by rotating the first arrangement right so in this case we are actually not counting all the possible n arrangements which can be achieved by rotating one arrangement actually we can find n number of arrangements by rotating any possible arrangement like this and we have to discount them so the number of arrangements possible for n number of things is n factorial right but we can achieve total n possible arrangements by rotating one arrangement so if we divide this n factorial by n we will actually discount the number of arrangements which we achieve by rotating any particular arrangement right and this is nothing but n minus 1 factorial right so if you have n number of things and you want to arrange them in a circle and any arrangement possible by rotating any another arrangement is discounted or you are not considering the arrangement which can be achieved by rotating any other arrangement then the total number of permutations possible in this case will be n minus 1 factorial right so this is how we calculate permutations when things are arranged in circle so you have to see the problems carefully whether arrangements achieved by rotation are considered or not if they are considered then things becomes very simple number of arrangements will be n factorial and if arrangements achieved by rotating any particular arrangement are not considered then you have to do n minus 1 factorial to calculate the number of possible permutations right so this was the arrangement in a circular pattern and after this we are going to take few more solved examples based on permutations and combinations so keep watching math smart and bye bye till then